What's up, what's up? Heading to the shop, check in a couple of cars. Gotta pick up a Honda that the AC compressor went out on. Had an exhaust break. It was like an exhaust leak. Something just broke, I don't know what it was. So they got that fixed, so we're gonna be picking that up soon. And the car's going back out at 10, it's 7.30, so we gotta get it cleaned and get it back in the street. Get that rental going. On my way to pick up the other rental car. It is in Elgin at our shop, Broadway Auto and Equipment. They just finished the compressor, so now we have AC again on our Honda Civic. This is the culprit that made the exhaust leak. This little junker right there, we had to change. We have here is a situation. We got a red Ford Focus with no AC and it's 90 degrees. So we gotta fix it. So I am running to the shop right now. Hopefully it is just a recharge, something simple. Who knows? The last one we did this morning needed a compressor. They say it's my fault because I use the recharge cans constantly if they feel a little low. And the guys at the shop are telling me I add too much oil because there's no control of how you do it. You just shoot it in. So it's not enough gas and it's mostly oil. Therefore, too much oil in the compressor, it locks up. So we're gonna see. I don't wanna recharge this one and then have them blame me again. So we're gonna go suck it empty on the machine, which I don't have because it's like $5,000 and uh, also don't know how to use. So they're gonna suck it dry and then we refill it the right way and see what happens from there. They put some dye in it so we can see if there's any leaks anywhere. And that's it, keep you posted. For all those that don't know what the AC machine looks like, there's a high side and a low side. They hook it up, this bad boy right here, sucks the system empty if there's anything in it, it's over here, sucks her dry, and then we recharge, and we'll see how little red turns out. This is a 2011 Red Ford Focus that we have, little daily shooter, she makes on average 40 bucks a day. Weekdays, sometimes if it's not renting, we'll drop it a couple dollars just to get it moving. But typically, like Uber drivers, the door dashers, those guys are the ones that rent these cars because they're good on gas. So this is one. We have five of this car, actually. I think four, maybe four or five. We got a white one, two black ones, a red one, and a blue one. So yeah, we got a quite a few. They're cheap cars. So someone that's just trying to get in for uh, starting out. I'm pretty sure this works in any area. The cheap cars are the first ones to rent out. The more expensive cars, in my opinion, we have an Escalade, a Mercedes, things like that. They don't rent out nearly as fast. They do get more money, but when they break, they're also more money. So I haven't fully figured out which way is the better way to go, but I do have a bunch of cheap cars. So obviously I went that direction.